All right. Before we get to Summers, because I know everybody's in here spamming that. I see y'all. I see it. <laughs> and I'm trying to listen to Summers too, okay? I was trying to listen to Summers before Homicide Game, but they just happened to drop fast uh, or earlier. We started listening like before midnight. Anyway, so let's review this project or or give it a rating first of all. So I like seven for set. I like seven out of twelve tracks. So let's just go back to the elementary style of rating an album. So seven divided by twelve is a 58 percent. So I, I'll give it a. I'll even give it a six and a half, bruh. I'll give it to them because they did have really good highlights in the project. You guys know I'm a I'm a harsh critic of Homicide Gang. And the reason I am is because like I just don't want to hear this. Like I know they're signed to Cardi and everything, but when I I just don't want to hear another Cardi or I just don't want to hear people rapping on the same beat. So like the songs that I liked on this project were the non just straight mosh pit whole lot of red v7 type beats you know what i mean like there were a couple that were still hard and i, I liked it like uh uzi work and i think snot shit homicide language they were cool i still feel like they rap the same way on a lot of the songs especially like one of the i think it was this one the two to face it was like a slower song but then they were rapping like the same exact way that they would go in a hard beat which I feel like you can manipulate your voice a little bit or put on different like effects, like block work. I think that was the super, I don't know, spaced out beat, like put more reverb on it. You don't have to rap the same way, but definitely showed some evolution. I think dive in, um, can is more like trap type beat. I think homicide language is like more of a trap beat. So I, I like that. They need to, I'm not too keen on the really hard rock style. Like they don't, they're not hard rock rappers you know what i mean like they're they're more typical atlanta sound so you can have the elements of the opium swag in there but they were killing the slower songs too definitely showed a little bit more diversity so i'm liking it i'll give them that six and a half that's decent the, the rest of the songs like this run it just sounded like regular homicide gang their fans will definitely fuck with it because they just want to hear mosh pit music. But like, I'm here again. If you're signed to Cardi, you need to be bringing something to the table that's unique. You need to stand out. Like, Lone's got his own sound. Ken. I'm, I'm iffy on Ken right now. He really needs to up the sound a little bit on his next project. X, y'all know. Like, that was kind of like what Homicide Gang was on last project. Like, just super performance songs which is okay because that's what the kids wanted in the underground but the next project i want to see some some development so decent project i don't know if it's an album or a mixtape or whatever looks like they're still signed to opium i don't know i mean of course they are but like if we go to ken carson and destroy lonely i think theirs will say opium interscope so maybe they're just not maybe they're still building them up so Homicide Gang about to get a big deal with a major label. That is if they're okay with like the allegations and whatnot, but we'll see.